Ahoy, Let's Watchers, it's me, your rebellion Captain Vasco. In the last episode, I got really frustrated trying to fight Scorpion, because that got really dumb. It's really dumb. And then I failed the egg thing, but you didn't get to see that part, because that was even dumber. That was super dumb. Um, we also had some fun messing around melting fans. Speaking of which, why don't we take a look at our web of destiny, and take a look at other things that we can have fun messing around with. So, what we have left is sweet Street Sweeper, which is coming up in just a moment, actually. On Thin Ice is a little bit after that. Uh, Emblem co Collector. Why do I always want to say Corrector? It's just wrong. It's ironic, in a way. Uh, that's almost done. I just need one more emblem, as I mentioned in the last episode. Return to Sender. <sighs> this one might require a little luck. It gets trickier trying to uh, divert the missiles in this later area of the game. That's why I wanted to get some earlier on faffing about, as you saw. Uh, Slow-mo is another one that I'm going to have to focus a little bit on, but uh, it shouldn't be too hard. There are plenty of opportunities, and in fact, the uh, the final boss, since I, I'm not particularly uh, focused on completing this level in any particular time, uh, I can... There, there's, like, infinitely spawning enemies in the, uh, in the final section of the level, which is sort of a mixed blessing. Because it's really annoying to try and fight the boss with, but really good if you're uh, struggling to deal with this challenge. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we have looked at those, and uh, hopefully I will keep all of these in mind as we move forward in the level and get it all done in one playthrough. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Sounds like fun to me. So, yeah. I don't care about these eggs. Some sky cars are going to try and shoot missiles at me while I'm swinging over here to the end of the level. Do, 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 do. See, like that. Look at it. Look at all them mizzles. Oh, that one hit me, apparently. I didn't see it hit me, but I'll take their word for it. Oh, that's really annoying. I didn't realize that the, uh... Oh my god, really? Shut up. I didn't realize that the, uh, four-minute timer for this last bit of the level started, like, way before you got... Shut up. I didn't fall. You're mega stuff up. You're just trying to piss me off now, level. Yeah, so I just, like, lost 15 seconds because the timer started, like, super de duper early for no reason. I think that's actually done that every time, but I've never really paid attention to it. It's really annoying. I didn't realize I was fighting a... Oh, missiles! Missiles! Oh, yeah. Yeah! Look at that! I got two redirected to him. Almost accidentally. There we go, M Collector. Doing good, doing good, feeling fine. Shut off my accelerated vision, because the shield guy's blocking me. Don't block me, bro. It's not classy. Be classy. Uh, yeah, let's punch this guy into oblivion. All right, that's five enemies defeated. Whoa, whoa. Can I get him to hit himself? Hit yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Actually, keep hitting yourself. That would be preferable. Don't hit me with your sword. Hit yourself. Uh, oh yeah, I think I was saying earlier, some of these uh, scorpion creatures like teleport around like the uh, the is it the laser one? One of the electric creatures teleported around on these like perch points and like did annoying stuff like that. It's very reminiscent of those for me. Let's quail on these guys. Let's sort of get hit by a giant like electric future sword. having trouble with this for right now for some reason. I wanted to say today, but like I've done every single practice playthrough on this level today, so it's not today, it's just it's just right now. I'm not really sure what triggers that uh, checkpoint where the door just melts. Like you can just go for it. You don't have to like fight everyone here at all. Which is weird, actually, if you ask me. Uh let's go pick up the spider emblem left, right? Oh, you're gonna have to hit yourself for me to be having a good day. There we go. Uh, I feel much better now. Cause in a pinch, I can always uh, save the uh, last five guys in accelerated vision for the uh, last part of the level, as I already mentioned. It's very convenient. It is one of the nicer aspects about this level, to be honest. Yeah, here's a spider emblem. I took some damage. I wanna recover some health. Uh, so. I'm fighting him. I can't, like, kill him in slow-mo. Oh, is that a missile? I didn't even notice that. I didn't notice there were two shield guys left, either. Uh, 
Alright, seven slow mo enemies. This one. I don't think I can actually use my slow mo and also do this. I think the slow mo, or the accelerated vision rather, cuts out during that cutscene, so you can't, like, stack the two uh, abilities, I guess I would call them? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I rarely do. Let's take this guy down. Bam! Downtown. Anyone else? You want mess? We done here? Yeah, that'll do. Street Sweeper completed. Oh, I'm feeling good. Alright, so that's, uh, that's, yeah, three more challenges I took down. This one I can't have started yet, and this one I'm most of the way towards completed, and I still got time for that. Ah, oh, what a good day. What a good day for Vasco. Oh, there's a spider emblem just for points. I love points. Do you know how much I love points? Big number. That's how much. Hey, Scorpion. Oh, man. You said a woman hey, uh, anyway, right. Anyone explain to me what's up with his, like, uh. scorpion shout? Like, I mean, scorpion in Mortal Kombat has the ability, he shouts, Get over here! That's, like, way more impressive than what this guy scorpion's got going on. Um, his ability seems to be, like, to deactivate my peripheral vision. He has, like, anti-peripheral vision power. Which is like, I don't know, the opposition to my accelerated vision? Actually, I'm not sure I've ever had accelerated vision on while he was, like, doing his weird... Like, you can't see the corners of the screen shout. I wonder if that... Interacts favorably or unfavorably there. Uh, yeah, so beating up some scorpion guys, like I do. Just a typical... What is today, Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday for me. It's definitely not Wednesday for you, because I don't post videos on Wednesday. Um, yeah, so here's the second time that Spider-Man 2099 rides an elevator wrong. I think he might have a phobia. They're all over the place! Clear the landing zone! We can't stop them! Keep firing! Keep firing! Look out! Well, the elevators Look in the ready. future work this way, anyway. Game changer, man! Game changer! Hey, everybody! Alright, so, for those of you playing along at home, we are about to embark on On Thin Ice, which means we have to try and beat uh, ten enemies up here on this platform before Scorpion, like, engages a cutscene that, like, destroys everything. You'll, you'll see it. It's fine. No spoilers. I hate spoilers, so I'm not doing any more spoiling than I've already done. Come on, someone die. I got accelerated vision on. Yeah, yeah! Alright. Oh, that's weird and annoying. Let's use my YB move! I spent money on this! Oh, that didn't go well. Turned on my accelerated vision too late for that to be relevant. Yeah, I'm taking some damage. I don't even care. I'm like a honey badger, man. I don't give a crap. If you don't like swearing, you probably shouldn't look up honey badgers. Because there might be some swears if you go on the YouTube and look for it. I suppose it's not helping my case of, like, you shouldn't do this for me to, like, explain it and make it sound all, like, mysterious and weird. Oh, screw you. You totally died. Yeah, there we go. Slow-mo completed. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but sure. Alright. So, how many have I beat? Four. Nope. Oh, press the wrong button again. I'm doing really good. There's no, there's not even buttons I can easily confuse. I don't know how I'm doing that. Uh, yeah. This guy, hopefully, no, not dead yet. Oh, oh I dropped him off a building. I think that's dead. Yeah, usually, I don't have this much trouble killing guys. I guess maybe I've uh, let myself get a little lax. Oh, whoa, hey, 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 don't fall off the building. That'd be really bad for business. Unless your business was being dead Spider Man, which doesn't seem like a very good business model. Alright, just a couple more. By a couple, I mean two, which I guess is technically the proper definition. Alright, on thin ice completed. You know what that means? Weirdly enough, everybody? It means the only uh, challenge left on the web of Destiny is the hidden spiders. Like, when's the last time we had a boss, like a final boss fight that didn't have some sort of challenge associated with it? 
not even sure if there's another one in the game like that. I don't remember the later levels that well because I've been so focused on these earlier ones as I'm playing through them. So that may be the only time in the game that that happens. So we're free to try and take the final boss down uh, as we please, as quick as we like. Which is actually a nice change of pace. Let's do this cutscene. Hulk smash! I'm gonna run over here and get the spider emblem. Free points! Yeah! Oh, he's gonna try and wail on me. Oh, yep, there's Scorpion. I mean, if, if you could do that all along, I don't know why you just... I don't know why everyone shouts shock in this level. The guy shouts it in the beginning cutscene, which I hadn't noticed until I was playing for the Let's Play. And then, uh... And then Spider-Man's shouting it uh, here when that, that roof breaks after uh, Scorpion. Oh, I never realized that there was a uh, spider emblem in that husk of a ship. This is a really weird section of the level. The only thing you have to do is, like, don't get crushed by debris, which is fairly easy, because there's not a ton of it. Gotta break my fall, son. Uh, but yeah, apparently if you want a golden Did spider emblem, there's one hiding out in that, uh, where you were running to. In that thing that fell on top of me. You just wanted to... Lots of shiny arms. Who oh, that could be? Hmm. Interesting. Perhaps someone else with eight appendages. Nah. Preposterous. Alright, so this boss fight has sort of like two aspects and three uh, sections, I guess I'm gonna call them. Here's the way it works. Um, they're, they're, the two aspects are sort of like uh, sometimes Scorpion will hang from that thing in the middle and, like, fling his tail at you to make, uh, more poison eggs. Uh, and then you use those, you throw those at him to knock him down and, you know, stuns him in blah blah blue. Um, actually, it doesn't so much stun him as, uh, oh, here we go, here's the other part. So, stage one, he tries to attack you and it just fails really badly and he, like, stuns himself and he's all tired out and he lets you wail on him. Stage two, uh, he'll try to attack you, he'll hit the ground, and then he'll try to charge at you, and if he, like, if he catches you in that lunge, then he'll, like, grab you and throw you against the ground and do you a bunch of damage. It's time for, yeah, it's time for egg time! Excellent! Ha ha ha! See, he falls down, and then something interesting happens. I'm not sure exactly the physics of why mass falling off of the spaceship causes it to, like, teeter and fall closer to the ground, but uh, we're just gonna go with it. You know what? We're having fun with this level. It's not the vulture level. Well, I forgot I was in stage two. So that's what happens when he wails on you. Um, so the correct way to deal with that is let him hit the ground, and then do, like, a dodge roll or something, and then then he just gets, like, discouraged. Like, that time he doesn't even really stun himself. It's just sort of like, Oh man, I miss Spider-Man. I wish he was my friend. No, wait, the other kind of missed. Alright, he's already back to the action. Woo! Oh, I guess he gets his claw stuck in the ground, but I don't really know why that happens. Alright, I think we're on to uh, the next egg-flinging round, which means it'll be time for Stage 3. Uh, stage 3, I don't think I actually explained. Stage 3, he... Jeez, chill pill. Oh, what are we doing? Ah, my peripheral vision! Leave it alone! Oh, I don't know what you're up to, man. Give me a break. Alright, so he hits the ground, he lunges. Oh no, I guess we're still in stage two. Yeah, because we didn't do the egg thing. That's why I'm all confused. So yeah, now I've clearly done enough damage. It stops you at the two-thirds health and the one-third health mark to do the egg thing. And then, once again, like, once you've got him pretty much dead. Alright, so, I throw an egg at him, he falls down. And the ship goes like, screech! And like, threatens to fall on him. But it doesn't. It doesn't. So we're fine. Don't worry about that. 
Uh, so now we're definitely in stage three of this, like, scorpion trying to attack us. So, he hits the ground, he lunges at us, then he does that thing from the oh, from the other boss fight, which I've ruined because I got I stood in the fire and I got all confused. So, let's try this again. He hits the ground. He lunges it. Oh, went the wrong way. All right. He gets close. He does that same series of moves that you may remember from earlier. And you dodge it the same way and just wail on him. So, one more of those and I should be able to take him out. But he's going to go around. He's going to, like, spit acid at the ground. I don't know, there's this middle area. It's not super useful. The, the first time I was in this fight, like, he goes to such lengths to try and keep you out of it, because that acid does a bunch of damage to you if you just stay in it. Um. Whoa. Leave me alone, scorpion creatures. You're a bunch of jerks, and I hate you. Okay, dodge that. It's funny, he hit his own guys. So, whale on him, whale on him. I think I've done enough to set off the last egg round. No, am I wrong? Wow. Really didn't see that come. Oh, I missed that one up. Oh, come on. He has, like, almost no health. How is he still fighting me? What's that about? Is he just, like, delayed reaction? Is it time for egg time? Oh, yeah, it's time for egg time. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I've messed that up. I'm gonna have to wait for the next batch of eggs. It's annoying. Again, the context-sensitive button has really not been my friend during this playthrough. Alright, so we got an egg. We throw it at him. Check it out, my friends. This fight is over. But, ooh. Oh, that seemed a little bit much. Sonicron. If there were any other way to help you change back, I would. But this is bigger than either of us. Congratulations, Spider-Man. You've retrieved another fragment. This day is yours. Yeah? Then how come I feel so bad about it? So there you have it, that is Scorpion's level in Act 2 of Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions in the future! Eh, 41's not a bad time. Yeah, it's silver though, that's very pretty good. Um, you know, if you don't take your time uh, trying to get all the spider emblems or all the little bits and pieces floating around the level, uh, you could save yourself a little bit of time, but uh, you know, I, I, my, my main goal is to show you how to do all the challenges, and I accomplished that, and it only took me one playthrough in the first time in ages, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, I, I do really like this level overall. It is challenging, especially if you're going after the challenges, which again, the name sort of makes sense, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, I, just, I, I really relate to Spider-Man 2099 and Scorpion. You know, like, Scorpion was mutated, but like, it's, it's not a good mutation, he's like a horrible monster, and it doesn't look like he has full control over himself, which is, you know, it's, that's a really scary thing. So I feel really bad for him. All he's trying to do is to become human again, and she's the whatever villainous he's talking about is, is probably just taking advantage of him. So, like, you really do feel for Spider-Man when he's really just trying to reason with Scorpion the whole time, but, like, he can't be reasoned with. He's, he's, on, he's on a mission, he's got a one-track mind, and he probably can't even fully... Uh, comprehend, like, the, the consequences of his actions. So, like, you, you feel for him when, when you have to go to such great lengths to put Scorpion down, but Scorpion is a very difficult opponent. Uh, you know, especially demonstrated in that one boss fight uh, fairly early on, just like, ah, oh, it's very difficult to get it in two minutes. In fact, why don't you, uh, if you've got a really good playthrough of that, why don't you leave a video response, because I'd love to see it. Because, like, I can do it, but I'm not really great at it. But, like, I'd love to see a really good playthrough of that. Uh, so leave a response. It'd be fun to see. Um, I don't think I have anything else to add. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, you're probably going to enjoy the next one, because it's my favorite level in the whole game. And I'm not going to spoil too much about that, because it's awesome, and it's great, and I love it. Um, in the meantime, uh, feel free to leave me any comments, or press the uh, thumbs up button to tell me how much you like my videos. Or if you don't like my videos... Go ahead and uh, tell me how I might improve them for the future in the comments. And uh, always subscribe. I love subscribers. I love it when people want to see more of my videos, and that's a really easy way to do it. Uh, anyway, I think that covers everything for uh, the future, for now. It doesn't really make sense, but you know what I mean. 2099, Act 2, completed. Next time, we'll take on uh, Ultimate Spider-Man's second act level. 
and uh, it'll be a lot of fun, I promise. Hopefully you've had fun now. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time for more Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions.